competence. Galina Hizdiva. Today I'm feasting. That's why it's hard for me to hold on diplomatic figures. That's why I tell you what I think in order not to waste energy to different deviations and different difficult thinking processes. First of all, I would like to thank Mordechai Kitaras. To me, it's been a dream for several years to meet him in person because I've been carefully watching his presentations, lectures available in YouTube. And to me, same as lectures of late Ramadan al-Buddha, al-Buddha Fizarat, was a certain textbook of real policy in the Middle East. That's why I would like to thank High School of Economics for granting me this opportunity to meet everybody here. So, after the presentation of Madha Kida, it's hard for me to say anything because absolutely has a clear understanding to what extent this, this is a deep, deep proposal which is hard to discuss like this abruptly. So, I hope that I'll try to touch upon one more thing which is equally for all of us, doesn't matter where we live, in the Middle East or any other country, it is very equally important, threatening the security to all the countries, including Latin America, after I went there, I understand. This is spread of theology of violence fight against this, I can say, virus is one more format of overcoming this virus in the Middle East. In fact, it was a very good analysis of what is going to happen in the Middle East. I fully agree. We had a similar experience in the Northern Caucasus and we saw with our own eyes what happens when the central government is weakening. Immediately, we have emiratization, so to speak. We had so many emirates, they were cooked very quickly. But Modha Effendi, for some reason they were not peaceful. I think that peace inside does not mean peace around us. I offer, I, pro I support your proposal to cancel UN, stop forceful models of education, acknowledge terrorists, uh, sick people, put to hospital and cure them, things like that. I think we have to fight against the theology of violence, which you correctly said, same as tribalism has very deep forms, in particular supported by the West. In particular, these approaches are based on great desire to modernize Middle Eastern world and so-called civilized world doesn't believe being civilized. You were talking about 700 years. I can say that theology of violence is as old. The history of apocalyptic thought in Christianity, catastrophic changes in corrupted old world into autocratic new world, it has always been a part of apocalyptic image. And addressing these apocalyptic thoughts and images is 
today one of the most important ideological foundations of the theology of violence. What is the idea here? The essence Nunza thought transformation in unprecedented light as the synergetic violent actions and giving the sword as the key symbol in this story. It means not just religious justification of violence, but it opposes medieval teaching about two words, two swords, the teaching of Martin Luther about two kingdoms. In our thoughts, in our understanding, that's the division into violent, not violent words. Integrity of a sword means integration and many regimes pay big attention to this concept. Not just the government regimes, but also those regimes which are simulacros of the government. First of all is the ISIS. This is the state simulacre, which is calling its government or state theology as the violence theology. Movements in the Middle East, I would also skip 1960s, where Europe, great respect and interest, treated such force as young brothers Muslims, which penetrated into Europe and became the hot followers of the Cold War, which helped Saudi Arabia in resistance resistance Islamism initially is a controversial controversive ideological product which was established under influence of Western philosophy of postmodernism which established by the the laws psychoanalysis uh, of Audrey and Vota which established in 1960 Algerian circle of studying problematic after Algerian war. At that time it was clearly understandable that the world is no longer divided into West and East. It's rather divided into relative East and relative West. This relative West invisibly present in the Middle East and relative East is showing in the relative West. As I think, the purpose of the researchers was to find the philosophical basis of overcoming civilizational borders based on Western values, as a basis of freedom of personality which breaks connections with any traditions and any collective. The image of well-organized free society of postmodernism is based on the image of Grass and Delos and Votary published a book, Visions, to this volume called Rizoma, as the invisible root system of society becoming a symbol of new type of culture, of modern lifestyle as a principle of philosophy and culture. According to the authors, Rizoma constantly brings together organization of power, has links to science, art, public struggle and other things which are well developed in different groups, committees, commissions of United Nations. In other words, philosophers were stating that the modern society is such which does not need in heritage, cultures and schools. And the third principle of Rizoma is that multiplicity must be 
quality diverse, must not be following nothing single. As they say, we need to throw away the idea about the singular creator, excluding single national country as such. It has become a big problem, in fact, and so far it complicates the situation very much. Those communities where people are not quite prepared to step away from the in heritage of cultures. And the fourth principle of Rizoma, the principle of the breakup, dividing structures, must be disrupted or broken somewhere, but eventually the image resembles the increasing of increasing the bodies of the parties used by Hizbut Tahrir or brothers Muslims, how they change by the influence of circumstances, and so on. In reality, it means that any opposition is equality. In other words, in the world there are no opposive things. The sacred equals sinful and creation of multiple Political simulators became the main job of postmodernist ideologists, including Islamic theological basis. All these things were taken by the new European generation of brother Muslims, and the image of Rizoma, everlasting network, became the basis of independent political groups of Islamists. So, what to do about it is another issue for another conference. Thank you. Thank you. A few good reports we heard from our social theory.